Hello, my name is Mark Allen here in Bellingham, Washington, and I'm about to show you the two sculptures I'm donating to the Lydia Place auction being held here in Bellingham in February at the Sheraton Four Points Hotel on Lakeway Drive. The two sculptures to my left are the sculptures I'm going to donate. However, I want to explain that these sculptures are a bit unusual because these are light art sculptures. Light art is an unusual form of art where light is incorporated in the art itself and not just to illuminate the piece like a lamp illuminating a painting. Each of these sculptures have lights, or more formally, light-emitting diodes, or LEDs, embedded in them. These lights are of many colors, and they will illuminate the engraving on the glass and the grindings on the metal. I'm going to attempt to show you part of their beauty in this video. However, I would like to explain that videos and photographs do not do justice to this artwork at all. So may I please invite you to look at these pieces carefully as they will be displayed during the event at the auction at the Four Points Hotel. So here we go. The first piece is titled The Eye, comprising of about five used, worn-out saw blades I purchased at the ReStore for about $2 a piece. Since they have absolutely no use as saw blades, I figure I can use them for art and give them new life. Here I am rotating the piece in order to try to demonstrate how it changes in appearance as you view it from different directions. Because the human eye has a far greater dynamic range of light than a camera, I have to attempt to use many different exposure settings to try to show you the beauty of the colors in this piece under different light levels. I'm rotating this piece again with the exposure setting slightly darker than the one you've seen previously. And by the way, many of the materials in both of these art pieces came from the fine folks at the ReStore here in Bellingham as well as the Salvation Army and off the street. Here we're viewing the place in a very dimly lit room. Now I'm attempting to do a vertical pan of the item. Unfortunately, I don't have a decent tripod, so it's, I have to hold the camera in my hands. So that's why it's a little bit unstable. But I hope you can see the piece nevertheless. Here's the piece without any lights on. The second piece is called The Garden and the Sky. Again, comprising of several repurposed saw blades from the ReStore, as well as several pieces of light also from the ReStore. I need to point out, before I get any further, that all the markings on the glass are engraved by hand. They're not etched. I'm using a tool with a diamond tip to cut into the glass. However, I'm holding that tool freehand. So all these pieces are done by hand. There are 
for three layers of glass in front, as well as the two layers of glass in the back for the sky and the stars. In the center, you see what appears to be cuts into a saw blades. Those represent rivers of ice or glaciers in a mountain. Here's a piece in a slightly darkened room in an attempt to show you the diversity of colors. Again, I need to please emphasize that you really need to see the piece in person to appreciate its full beauty. Here you can see the rivers in the mountains in better detail. Those comprised of hand engraved glass behind hand cut openings in a saw blade. The features on the surface of the metal are created by using a hand, uh, I'm sorry, an angle grinder held freehand. Here I'm trying to do a vertical pan and tilt of the piece showing the stars in the sky as well as the flowers and the plant in the foreground. Here you see the piece without its lights on. As you can see, there is no color except for the natural color of the metal and the glass, since all colors are coming from the LEDs themselves. This allows the natural beauty of the glass and the metal to show. Once again, I invite you to please attend the auction in person to view these pieces to appreciate their beauty. The auction is on Saturday, February 10th at 2018 from 5 to 9 p.m. at the Four Point Sheraton on 714 Lakeway Drive here in Bellingham, Washington. In the event you wish to bid on one of these pieces without attending the auction, I invite you to please call Lydia Place during business hours at 360-671-7663, extension 0. Thank you for viewing, and I hope to see you at the auction.